Well, a big hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I have something very special to show everybody today because today's date is the 15th of January, 2022. And the date is quite significant for a certain organization. Today is the 200th birthday of HM Coast Guard. HM Coast Guard was formed on the 15th of January, 1822 and since then they have been saving lives for 200 years. Now Yana and I have a small connection with HM Coast Guard because my fifth great grandfather was one of England's very first ever Coast Guards. He began his career in Hampshire on the Isle of Wight and he started out as a preventative water guard protecting our shores from smuggling and when HM Coast Guard formed in 1822 he became one of England's very first ever Coast Guards. Within one year he had moved from a boatman to chief officer which is the equivalent of lieutenant in the Royal Navy. He spent the rest of his life in service for HM Coast Guard and finally around 1860 he was admirated for his services in London. Now yesterday I went live with BBC Essex and I did a short 10 minute radio broadcast with Ben Fryer and I'm going to be playing that for you shortly as part of this video. But firstly, I'd like to show you a small illustration which is just behind me on my bookshelf. This illustration was painted by the Victorian artist, Fred Rowe. Now many of the paintings of Fred Rowe can be found at the National Portrait Gallery and the National Maritime Museum. But I have one in my collection and the reason for that is because in 1900 he visited Walton on the Naze in Essex and painted a landscape scene. As in part of that scene he included the Martello Tower. Now the Martello Tower was the family home of Jonathan Webb, his wife Jane and their five children. Martello Towers were built as defensive structures protecting our shores during the French Revolutionary Wars and during Napoleonic times. So I'm going to show you that little painting now before we move on to that BBC Essex radio interview. So here it is. So this small illustration I've got here just in front of me is of the Martello Tower at Walton and the Naze and this was painted by Fred Rowe in 1900 which was 40 which was 35 years after Jonathan Webb and family lived there you can actually see the tower actually in this little tiny illustration and so this painting is 120 years old well actually 122 so yeah I have a beautiful little illustration here on my bookshelf as a way to remember Jonathan Webb and his family. Time for that BBC Essex interview with Ben Fryer. It's about 10 minutes long and I really hope you enjoy it. Okay everybody, a big thank you and Yana and I will see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye everybody. Bye. Um, right, I want to play you something that's really, really interesting. Have a listen to this. This is fascinating. Um, something I want to do more of and i've shared this with you um in the past is just go back through the annals of history and just research your ancestors and someone who i'm very jealous of you're going to hear from now because he has done that for a number of years uh, and did you know that tomorrow marks 200 years since her majesty's coast guard service was launched and it's been protecting seafarers ever since. I didn't know that. I didn't know that until I'd spoken to Stephen. It's 200 years tomorrow, 1822, that HM Coast Guard was born. We, we should really be having some kind of, I don't know, 
celebration or something. I don't know. Um, but I can't see much plan. Maybe there's some stuff for later in the year. But uh, Essex, of course, very proud uh, maritime history. But did you know that Walton on the Nays had one of the very first UK Coast Guards. I've been speaking to Stephen Cooter from Great Lees. He's been researching his family history for many years and has learned that his five times great grandfather, there's a lot of greats in there, um, was one of the country's very first Coast Guards. Jonathan Webb started out doing the job in Walton back in the 1820s and then became an admiral in the 1860s. Uh, as I said, we've got a very proud maritime history, so if you've got a connection with the Coast Guard, maybe a relative who has served or you've needed rescuing at some point, uh, let me know, 0800 111 4041. But have a listen to this, particularly if you're in the Walton Tendering area, because this is a very uh, interesting story uh, Stephen's been telling me about his very special ancestor. My fifth great-grandfather, um, Jonathan Webb, was one of the UK's very first ever Coast Guards. He was born in 1792 on the Isle of Wight, so he has quite a big um, background, you know, with island life, not very far from Portsmouth. Um, in his very early 20s, he joined the Preventative Water Guard. Um, so this was just before the formation of HM Coast Guard in 1822. And the main job of the Preventative Water, water Guards were to protect our shores from smuggling. So he did that alongside his older brother, Richard Webb. So he was a boatman to begin with. And then the formation of HM Ghost Coast Guard happened on the 15th of January, 1822. And um, he became chief officer and moved around the country and settling in, on, um, in Walton on the Nays eventually. A fascinating uh, story. And, and what do you know about his time here in Essex and, and his time in Walton on the Nays? He was in Walton on the Nays twice, from 1822 to 1828. He lived in the Martello Tower with his family. The Martello Towers were built during the, um, the Napoleonic Wars, and HM Coast Guard inherited most of the Martello Towers around the country, and they were used as either... Um, watchtowers, Coast Guard stations, and in the case of Jonathan and his family, it was their family home. Um, he had four of his five children born in Walton. After 1828, he moved around the country a little bit, including St Ives, the Port of Cardigan, Misna Haven, and eventually he ended up back in Walton on the Nays for the rest of his life. And he was there for the last 20 years. And we've spoken about sort of tracing back, you know, our ancestors quite a bit on the programme. And, and it's fascinating, isn't it? Because you never quite know what you're going to find. How did oh, you man. How did you feel when you discovered just how important a man your distant, distant, great, great, grand, great, 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 Quite proud, actually, um, because um, Walton on Nays was a location I spent a lot of my childhood. We were always on the beach at Walton on Nays, and I never realised as a child that significance of Walton. Like I walked past the Coast Guard stations. I've seen the Martello Tower as a child, but I never realised that that was one of my ancestral, this little tiny round tower was one of my ancestral family homes and and that connection. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely very proud when I discovered Jonathan. It was about 15 years ago because I've been researching my family history since I was 18. So I've been researching for 25 years. And, and I've known about Jonathan for at least the last 15, well, in the last 15 years. So, and, and over that period of time, I've been piecing together parts of his life well, great stuff. And and you've actually gone back to where it all started, haven't you? Because I've watched a YouTube video yeah. which you record with your daughter and she's all involved in this. She'll take she'll take on the mantle as well, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. what was that like coming back to Walton and, and seeing the Martello Tower, knowing now that the historical reference the building plays to you and your family? It felt different. It, it felt different because because um that 
um, particular visit to Walton was my first time back to Walton in about 20 years. It felt different being there because I felt a connection to the place. Jana, my daughter, she, she learned a lot as we were going along and, and, and she was fascinated by it. Um, we visited All Saints Church in Walton, which is where Jonathan and his wife and, and, and most of their children are buried. Um, but, but sadly, his grave, I was hoping to find his grave, but a road cuts right through the middle of the cemetery now. So uh, it's long gone, which is a shame, really. What do you know about, you know, starting out that we've got this sig- significant anniversary and tomorrow, isn't it? The 200th anniversary uh, of, of yeah. the Coast Guard. It- what was it like when it started? Have you done some research in, into that? It, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know, whether it's choppy, who, what were they doing? Were they rescuing people or, or was it sort of keeping out intruders? What, what was the uh, main role? A bit, a bit of both. Um, so, 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 so they were rescuing people. The RNLI wasn't formated until much later in the 1800s. So um, – very early on, of course, but their main job as a water guard was was for smuggling. But um, the year after the formation in 1822, it was kind of mixed up a little bit. It was saving people, protecting our shores, because in 1822 wasn't that far after the um, Napoleonic Wars and the French Revolutionary Wars. So um, I think England felt they needed to protect our shores a lot more. Well, well, fantastic story. So, more work on your family now, then, and what what do you do? For, well, yeah, so who are you looking into next? This is fascinating. How far back have you gone looking at um, your family history? I've gone back to the Middle Ages. I have a few gateway ancestors in my family history, um, and, and, and yeah, um, Jonathan's family is quite interested because he married a Jane Wood, who was from Lyd in Kent, and and her brother was on board HM. Um, HMS Saturn, and and he fought at the Battle of Copenhagen in 1801, and Jane Wood's second cousin was at the Battle of Trafalgar, and he was on HMS Victory. So there's quite a big connection with maritime history within that circle of my family. Stephen Cooter, really interesting um, stuff and a really interesting connection with Walton on the Nays and Her Majesty's Coast Guard, um, which was launched 200 years ago tomorrow. It's the 200th anniversary um, tomorrow. So um, it should be, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. I'm, I'm, I'm not aware of there being a Coast Guard day or anything like that. Uh, and if Jonathan Webb and his history of uh, Walton, Stephen Cutis' five times great-grandfather, and that's the sort of thing you get a rope named after him, shouldn't he? Jonathan Webb Way or something uh, in Walton on the Nays. Uh, r- really interesting discussion. Let me know if you've got a connection um, with the Coast Guard. 200 years of the Coast Guard uh, tomorrow. 0800 4041. Maybe a relative served in it as part of the 200-year history. Maybe you've needed rescuing at some point because they do a lot more... I mean, you think of it as as being maritime, don't you, the Coast Guard? But they do a lot of things. I mean, when we spoke to the climber who um, who got lost in uh, in, the, in the Lake District, wasn't it? Or, the, or no, North Scotland, wasn't it? Um, the Coast Guard got involved in that as well because they have their helicopters and they can access um, those quite remote areas. So any connection you have um, to the UK Coast Guard, Her Majesty's Coast Guard, uh, let me know what it is, please. Get in touch uh, on WhatsApp, 08000 321 333. Start your message with the word Essex.